I never really know how a painting is going to turn out. I mean, I can have kind of a visual in my head, but it's kind of like I really don't know uh, from beginning until end, you know, what what colors of paint I'm going to use or, you know, what's the texture going to come out like or how am I going to lift the canvas a certain way to make the paint run a certain way or whether I blow on it with my mouth and make the paint blow a certain way or the fan, you know, will the fan blow it a certain way. I mean, I have a visual of how I want it to look like, but from beginning to end, I'm really not certain. But um, I'd say the favorite, my most favorite part is just the colors, you know, because the colors really speak to me and they're so healing on so many levels and they just, um, I think my color coordination, the colors I use together are really good choices. They make a beautiful painting, a very, um, the colors to me just pop. I mean, they just really speak. I use my hands, my fingers, because I feel that's very expressive. I love getting my fingers all painted up. So I love using my fingers, my hands, and I love using a palette knife. A palette knife is one of my very favorite ways to paint. And um, also, uh, Jackson Pollock's technique in how, you know, I just could take a can of a quart of paint. As you know, I have tons of quarts of paint. And I actually just love that splash look. I mean, I just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm really getting into a painting when I can do that. It's just, it's just a good way for me to express. I think with Jackson Pollock, I think back in the day when he was around, I first of all think that he definitely had some mental issues and actually my degree is in uh, psychology and so I have a really good understanding of psychology and people and how they work and I think that with Jackson Pollock, I think back then, you know, the only way that he knew how to treat his bipolar because, you know, people back then weren't very educated then, and I think the way he dealt with it was through drinking, and I think that's why he was an alcoholic. And um, I say the biggest thing about Jackson Pollock that intrigues me about his art, not just that he was the first one to bring out abstract art, one of the first people, but that I think if you look at his paintings, they not only they not only spoke to people, you know, in ways that they help people, because I think, again, each and every artist, their work really um, helps people and speaks to people in a certain way. But I think with Jackson Pollock, he, uh, his paintings told a story about him on a personal level. And I think that's the most fascinating thing about art is that you don't even have to really, you, you wouldn't even have to sit here and ask me questions in an interview because my paintings will tell you about me. My paintings tell the story and that's what I want my paintings to do. And I think that's what Jackson Pollock's paintings did. I've always had a love for art and whether that was painting, whether that was um, drawing or whether that was, um, I would say if I was gonna name this one, I'm, you know, I'm getting that it has to do with releasing some emotions, and so I think this painting would probably say tonight I did a lot of releasing as far as, uh, maybe that would have to do with fear and being uh, fearful of technology, social media. And um, because tonight and every, every time I spend time on social media, the more comfortable I get. And like right now, I'm really comfortable. And, um, and doing my paintings live, whether that's in front of a camera or in front of an audience, which I do live paintings for people, you know, at different uh, places, whether it's, a, it's an arts festival or something to that effect, um, I just get more comfortable. So I would say it has to do with um, you know, emotions, so I don't know if I'd want to call it deep, you know, releasing of deep emotions, maybe. You know, every painting I create, I hope to sell. And the, uh, and I say that not because of money, even though I do have to make money, because I have to put money back into my business, 
But I'm hoping that my paintings, each and every painting that sells, reaches a person in such a way that when they walk by it in their house, that it speaks to them on a volume that no other painting could do, or even a human.